Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about interface between the UE and the e -Node P. This interface is typically referred as LTUU interface, which started from GSM and in GSM, this interface was named as UM interface. In WCDMA, we named this interface as UU. In LTE, it is named as LTUU interface and in 5G we are going to call this NRUU interface. Now what is this interface? This interface has layer 1 which is typically the radio network architecture where we use some kind of TDD or FDD kind of mechanism, time division duplexing and frequency division duplexing and we have some multiple access techniques like OFDMA for downlink and SCFDMA in uplink. In some later videos we are going to talk about all these things pretty much in detail. On top of that, we have MAC layer, which is called as medium access control, RLC layer, which is referred as radio link control. And on top of that, we have PDCP layer. So all these layers are common for control plane as well as user plane. So the communication between the UE and the E node B are typically having control plane communication as well as user plane communication, where control plane communication is typically taken care by RRC protocol which is referred as radio resource control and user plane will be having user PDU imposed on the PDCP layer. However, we may also have some additional communication between UE and the core network and when I say core network, I am typically talking about MME and that communication is typically referred as NAS. NAS is referred as known access datum and all these NAS messages will be encapsulated into the RRC messages between UE and E node B and E node B will send these messages further to MME. So we have OFDMA in downlink, we have SCFDMA which is referred as single carrier FDMA in uplink, we have both FDD and TDD supported by the network. LTE also supports multiple bandwidths, scalable bandwidths which are in the range of 1.4 megahertz, 3 megahertz, 5, 10, 15, 20 megahertz and also multiples of 20 megahertz. The LTE air interface can pro provide data rates up to 100 Mbps and beyond that. And by use of multiple antennas, which is referred as MIMO antennas, multiple input, multiple output antennas, these speeds can go up to 300 Mbps in LTE release 8 and can go up to 1.5 Gbps in release 10. Right. So this is a quick overview on the LTE U interface. In later slides, we are going to talk about some more interfaces. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.